So good morning everybody, this is, this is not a good day. Giuliani has been killing me to make this spaghetti al limone. I just do it because I can't stand it anymore. And uh, here we are, but the good news is that Alois is with us today. Hello everybody. He has been on for 60 days, he presents to do spaghetti al limone and I'm gonna do it. And he's gonna watch how I do it. If I do something wrong, it's easier to correct me. He's so gonna teach me at least the spaghetti al limone like you all ask. So here we are, the ingredients are butter, Lemon zest that have to be boiled just a bit because you take off the bitterness. Uh, lemongrass, parsley, peperoncino, olive oil, spaghetti, garlic. This is just lemon, uh, lemon peels that have been put in infusion 24 hours, 36 hours before. And here we are. This is the king. This is the lemon from, from our gardens. The base is the same as the previous pasta. So Whatever pasta, pretty much, you always start with olive oil and garlic. Let's do it. So I will do the easy part. I will put the pasta. So the pasta water is boiling. We're going to add some salt. Make sure always there's a lot of salt in the water because otherwise there will be no flavor of the pasta. This is for two persons. It's about 160 grams. Just throw in the water. Then we're going to stir afterwards. And then we wait for about seven minutes till the pasta is cooked. Yeah, garlic. Always be the garlic has to be blonde, but doesn't have to burn. If it burns too much, it's not good. Lemon grass. I'm cleaning up this shit, huh? Lemon grass. Good. After 60 days of doing nothing, here we are. Some parsley now, so the, the smell goes into the olive oil. Put some water from the pasta into the sauce. Like this. Alex, don't make a mess, please. No, I'm cleaning up actually. I'm, I'm cleaning up all the best apples, so you he won't came, see that it. He gave me what on the kitchen. <laughs> some, some, um, some fresh olive oil because it's always nice to. Just, you know, at this stage, the water together with the olive oil makes the sauce, you know? It has to melt, that's, been, that's how you make the sauce. And so, Vito is now adding the, the secret of our spaghetti limone, you're all asking about it. It's such an infusion of water, lemon zest, and uh, we keep it for 24 hours, 20, 36 hours. It gives all the flavor to, to, to the water. You see also the colors there. And that's what makes this spaghetti so special. Our lemons are the end. The lemon never has to cook too much or doesn't have to cook too fast because otherwise it becomes bitter. So I don't need to cook it anymore, I take it off the fire. So the spaghetti is ready. Okay. Just take up the water and there it goes. Then at the end, you know, we forgot just a bit of chili. If you have it fresh, it's even better. Okay. Just a tiny bit of butter. That's it. And parsley. Another bit of olive oil. Not too much. You see how shiny everything comes. That's the perfect sign that almost the pasta is ready. So now I'm sure this pasta is ready and Peter's gonna say to me, uh, you're gonna plate it. No way, he did a plate, so he's gonna plate also. Just always always keep some uh, some water from the from where you cook the pasta. But it's also very important, if, when you're gonna put the water from the pasta inside, make sure you season always on the end, because in the water there's always salt, so if you put too much of the, the, the boiling water, it's gonna be too salt and you can't correct anymore. So I always prefer to put the salt on the very end, and I'm sure this doesn't need any salt anymore, because everything is inside there. We're gonna taste it, just to make sure. I'm gonna taste this to check, because uh, it needs to be checked also. You know, see, see the color, pasta is changing. Just a tiny bit of oil. Chef, you are. Do you the honor? No, no, no. I told, no. You see, Julia, what yeah. I told you. So Even right. I need to. Right. Right. I don't want to be criticized. Go ahead. So you can just take, grab some pasta, put it in a spoon. We're going to add afterwards some grated lemon on top of it. You see, it's a very simple, simple dish. 
But like I said, the more simple things are, the more complicated they become when you have to do it at home. It looks very easy, but it's all about the flavor of the lemons here. It's all about doing it in a certain way. Over there. We Where's the guy over there? We have a spy. Would you like yeah. to eat some? <laughs> we eat the pasta. Here we are. First chef, have a seat. I'm gonna serve you. Wow. First time in my career. People serving you. Chef's table is the first time chef sits at his own table. Wow. Andrea, go ahead. You're, you're, you're more a big, bigger pasta eater than me. And here we are. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. <laughs> 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 It's not eatable. That's good. Really good. Delicious. Spectacular as usual. More. You got. Very much.